my oldest child, who was eight, stumbled on this book called um, Century of Stories. It was a centennial celebration of Jamestown, North Dakota, a little town where my mother-in-law is from. And there was an article in there called, they call it Orphan Train, and it proves there is a home for many children on the prairie. And uh, so we, he was looking at the article and we realized that um, my husband's grandfather, my mother-in-law's father, was featured in this article. He and his siblings had been on a train. It was flabbergasting to me. This, What I learned later was the largest migration of children in our nation's history. I knew nothing about. Um, my husband was a history major um, at Yale. You would think maybe he would have learned something about this movement of 200, 250,000 children, but never. Um, and it was a family story that he never knew. So I finally, three years ago, picked it up again and realized I had there was a great story here that should be told, and I wanted to tell it. When I began the book about three and a half years ago, there were 150 living train riders. Now there are fewer than 20, and they're all between about 95 and 105 years old. So I hit this moment when I could actually interview people in person. Um, I went to the Foundling Hospital uh, reunion here in New York City. I went to reunions in Minnesota. I flew to Ireland and did research there in the part of Ireland where, that sent the most immigrants to America at the time period that I was writing about. And I always say that it's a story that's been hidden in plain sight because if you go to Amazon, for example, and type in Orphan Train, the title of my novel, you'll find not only tons of other books, but you'll find 20 books that are literally called Orphan Train, <laughs> which is why we almost didn't title mine Orphan Train, because it seemed to have been done, and yet, obviously, people don't really know about it. Well, I think the fact that it's a book, unlike any of my other novels, it's um, rooted in hi a history that people are craving knowledge about. I mean, once people learn that there was this orphan train movement, I think it's quite exciting to them to get on the train with my character and take this journey. I think also, though, um, it the present day story is about a 17-year-old kid in foster care who's troubled, who goes to work for this old woman who seems to have nothing in common with her. And over the course of the novel, they discover that, in fact, the foster care system today, the feelings children have in foster care are not actually that different from the feelings children had on the orphan trains. And making that connection has been something that a lot of people have uh, noted and talked about. I feel a lot more confident about delving into areas I know nothing about, confident of my own ability to transform those into fiction. Um, and I'm glad I made that leap. It feels like um, a brave thing that I did, and I'm happy that I did. <laughs>